So I'm BJ Roberts, and I was at TCU from 1998 to 2002, played football. Shalene Roberts, I was here at the same time, 98 to 2002. I did not play a sport at TCU. High school, yes, here in track, but not here at TCU. Hey, TCU FCA family. This is Jason Illion. I am a passionate follower of Jesus, and I had the unique opportunity and honor to serve as the FCA president from 1995 to 98. So yes, I am old. Uh, my name is Mike Nowak, and I had the privilege of going to school at TCU and playing football for the Horned Frogs from 1988 through 1993. So at that time, it was 100% student-led, yeah. um, student-athlete-led. Um. And I remember, <laughs> do you remember how we used to promote the meetings every, every Wednesday night? Chalk on the sidewalk. Yes, yes! We used to go with sidewalk chalk, sidewalk and we chalk. would write on the sidewalk, FCA, 9 o'clock. And one of the most impactful aspects of my time there at TCU was being a part of the FCA huddle. Um, two most impactful things about it. Uh, one, just the fact that, you know, we're pulled in different directions and lots of all the pressures that go in with being a student athlete. And it was just such a blessing though at nine o'clock Wednesday night in the TCU uh, team room, we were gonna focus on what was most important and get refocused for the week. Um, and that was on, on our relationship with Jesus Christ. FCA, when people ask about it, I just light up because it has really been the foundation of my life. And most of the great things that I've seen God do have come through FCA. By my senior year, we uh, FCA's staff member actually um, helped and mentored and encouraged, things like that. So we, during my time, I had three years of 100% student-led to the last year having a, an FCA staff member yeah so junior and senior year we were both officers i took on the leadership role of president and i was treasurer yeah yeah she kept the books i did yes i still do that today <laughs> second thing that's most impactful is about that is just the uh, relationships that we built with our teammates with our classmates the accountability and encouragement that we had um uh, in our faith in christ and and just what a blessing that was. So thankful for the leadership of Coach Wacker, who was usually our first guest speaker of the year, um, and Coach Tom and Marty Miller, who are um, uh, our FCA huddle coaches, and uh, just kind of our FCA mom and dad's away from, mom and dad away from home. And uh, so what a blessing that was. I came to TCO Believer. I had grown up in a Christian household, but I don't think I had really, I don't think I really knew what it meant to have a a relationship with Jesus, an everyday relationship with Jesus where he was leading me. So when I came to TCU and I saw other students, like-minded students who were serious about their faith and living it out on the campus daily, um, in their classes, in their relationships, in their fraternity and sororities, in their sports, wherever it was, to see that left such an impact on me and really helped me, I think, solidify my faith. I was a new, newish believer, junior high, junior year of high school is when I accepted Christ. And so being invited by some mature, um, much wiser 23 year olds um, was a pretty cool experience. And so I got to see their faith walked out, not only in the classroom and on campus, but um, also on the field. When I was in college, I came to know Christ through an FCA football camp in high school. And when I first got to TCU, the only thing I knew to do was to go to FCA, so I did. And through that process, God continued to refine my heart, drive me into the Word, bring other godly men around me and have the Holy Spirit work in my life. And it just started to transform me. So I like looking back at where God has put me um, and the people that he has placed in my life. And, and I would agree 100% with what she said. Um, I really believe that it had not been for FCA um, that I, there is, there's no doubt in my mind that some of the decisions that I would have made in college, mm -hmm. there's certainly, I, I could have gone another path. And so being tied back into fellowship and community and um, the gospel during those times, um, keeping me tethered and anchored there, I didn't, I didn't have to go off the beaten path and come on back. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have to be called again, um, but I, I, was, I believe that my trajectory stayed the mm -hmm. course, so to speak. Um, and had it not been for that, I don't know that would have been mm -hmm. the case. Mm -hmm. And when we were at FCA and we saw how the 
the group grew from like 40 to over 400 um, kids that were coming on a weekly basis. And more importantly, how we saw hearts and lives changed. That's what's exciting. That's what still excites me and gets me pumped up. I'm so excited to see the impact of FCA, how it's continued there at TCU, especially over the last 10 years under the leadership of Chauncey Franks, a good friend of mine, and uh, just so neat to see his posts of all the teams getting Bibles, getting God's Word in their hand, um, the, the regular, the weekly huddle meetings that are still continuing, the impact that they're having on the, on the teams, um, through the coaches, and um, also in the community as well. And um, it's so exciting to see that impact on the campus um, and just sharing the love of Jesus Christ um, to um, everybody that they have the opportunity to do that with. I think the thing I remember the most about FCA camp, honestly, was, was the small group that you kind of get plugged into um, and the connections that you make with people from your own FCA organization because you're in there with some of the young people, but then students from other campuses. And so just to hear the impact of FCA in their lives and to see their Christ walk and how they're living it out on their campus was really impactful as well because it's easy to kind of get stuck in your own little campus bubble and your own little FCA bubble. It's completely different when you go out to a camp like that and you're engaged with other people and you realize that they're doing the same thing on their campuses as well. It gives you a much, I think, broader, bigger picture of the kingdom at work on campus and of FCA's role. And those years at TCU FCA were some of the best. They are really terrific, wonderful years. And I'm excited for what you guys continue to do to drive ministry for TCU. And if you look what's happening in the world, with our culture, with our politics, um, with the fear that we have now in this quarantine, you are needed now more than ever. You have no reason to be timid. You have no reason to be weak. God has empowered you to go out there and share the good news with those around. And remember, all the disciples, they were all crucified. They were all killed because of their belief, except one, John, who was stranded on an island. But they all stood firm, and because of that, generations and cultures were changed. And that could start in Fort Worth. It did start in Fort Worth. God started that with me. So I say this to say thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Don't give up hope and continue to live in faith. We love you guys. I can tell you for a fact, if it wasn't for FCA and, and other men uh, being involved in my life and Christ-like influence, there's decisions that I know. I mean, I, I look, I'm a sinner just like anybody, and I made some poor decisions in college. Um, but I think those would have been exacerbated mm -hmm. had it not mm -hmm. been for um, for FCA and and the people involved and loving on me and being involved in my life and encouraging me through it. My hope for TCU FCA is that it draws people to the group and points them to Christ and the Bible and the unchanging solid foundation of his word and what it says. And that it teaches students not to kind of waver on like these shifting winds of relativity or of relativism, but that it anchors them in who Jesus is as the Son of God, as the only hope for our salvation. And it teaches them that and it gives them a passion for the word and it gives them a passion to go out and live out the unchanging word to a dark society that desperately needs the hope of Jesus Christ. I'm just so excited for the future, um, just to see that continue to grow as the Lord blesses uh, the ministry there and uh, just seeing more uh, coaches and, and students impacted uh, for Jesus Christ uh, in TCU and in Fort Worth and in the community around. So i um, excited about what's coming up. God bless. We are blessed. Let's count our blessings, not our curses. So much today I see going through the crazy world. It's so easy to get wrapped up in that moaning and groaning and that poor me. Feel sorry for ourselves. Gripe and complain and look for the bad and emphasize the negative. I always told my coaches I know one that I don't want a negative coach at my staff. They drive me nuts. I want people that are excited about life, that are looking for the good, that pe build people up instead of tear things down. Count your blessings. Get excited about life. 
And above all, get excited about your relationship with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And with your Father, with His Father, the Creator of the universe. That's our leader. That's who we worship. That's what the Christian life is all about. And then thank you, God, for sending your Holy Spirit into our hearts and into our lives. Fill us with a fire, to fill us with an enthusiasm, to go out into the world, to touch lives, to make a difference. That's where it's at. That's what it's about. It's about joy. I'm not sure every Christian shouldn't have a sign up in his home someplace where it says, no grumps allowed. <laughs> we don't need grumps. There's no reason to be a grump. We need people that are excited about life, excited about the Christian life, excited about the relationship with their God and the relationship they can have and establish with others. And then go through life because that is where real joy and real happiness and real meaning in life are found. So in anything, all I'm going to say is ring the bells, blow the trumpets, sing the songs, and above all, praise God with everything we do in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen. Thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting the FCA.